One day I decided to try out one of these cheap little waterproof film cameras and take it out into the surf and snow just for fun and to share some results with you. So during the first session, I went out for a surf with my friend Joseph and uh, took it out for just one paddle before going and putting it back because it's a little bit awkward to use while also trying to surf. But uh, here's some of the results anyway. As you'd probably expect, you're not going to get a very high quality image out of this type of camera, but the results can be interesting. Alright, those were some results from the water. Not too bad for the first time trying something like this. It's great having something so cheap to the point where you're not too worried about losing it. And uh, now let's head to the snow. Check out some results I got there on this snowboarding day trip with Sarah. So I thought these next two shots weren't too bad and it shows that with this kind of cheap camera it's best to have the area of interest quite centered and the optimal focus distance at least with this one seemed to be a few meters away. So there you go, some results from a cheap little film camera you can leave in your pocket for this kind of stuff. And if you don't mind all that softness around the corners and the unpredictability, try it out. Another big reason I wanted to share this is to show that the camera survived being out in those conditions despite its cheap price. And you can probably get some great results if you want to get a little bit more creative than I did. I still want to try a proper waterproof camera like a Nikonos one day. And when I do, I'll be sure to share the results. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.